We'd like to rationalize the denominator of this expression, but let's first take a moment because I notice we've got factors of A and B here in the numerator, and same thing in the denominator. Let's see if we can simplify this at all by writing this as the cube root of AB over AB squared, and we'll work on the radic in a moment. Notice the A's divide out then. The A's divide out, and I have B to the 1 over B squared, so this is the cube root of 1 over B. I would always simplify before trying to rationalize, if possible. Now, let's go ahead and write this as the cube root of 1, and we certainly know what that is, over the cube root of B. And now let's worry about rationalizing the denominator. What do I multiply the cube root of B by so that the radicand becomes a perfect cube? Notice if I multiply by the cube root of B, I would have as a product the cube root of B times the cube root of B, or the cube root of B squared, and B squared is not a perfect cube. I'll need to multiply by the cube root of B squared. Why? Because this becomes the cube root of B cubed, and B cubed is a perfect cube. If I multiply the denominator by the cube root of B squared, I'll multiply the numerator by the exact same thing, cube root of B squared. And now let's see what we have. This is cube root of 1 times cube root of B squared. That's simply the cube root of B squared. Or you know this is 1, so 1 times cube root of B squared is cube root of B squared. And then let's go ahead and write our denominator. This is the cube root of B cubed, and the cube root of B cubed is simply B. Now notice I've simplified, and I've also rationalized the denominator, and so I'm done.